My name is Kaito Honda. I will be greeting the Internet Business World Empress. And by greeting, I mean I will be bidding my farewell. Excuse me! So, what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I came today to say my goodbyes. Because your company went under? Ah, I guess nothing stays hidden from you, huh? Who do you think was the one going to your office all the time to check up on business? This woman was called the Empress of the Online Business World. Her name was Hikari Sawa. She's been on the online price comparison business forever, and her company exploded very fast. Her company employs over 300 people. Ms. Sawa is actually an old classmate from college. We had the same club, and we got along from then. I admired her and decided to start my own business as well. We had related businesses, and she helped me out tremendously along the way. You don't ask me for help or anything at all? What are you gonna do? And then, by the time I had some time... You're already going under. You need to report everything to me. My company has gone under. Not only have we run out of funds, we're 200k in debt. Why did that happen? We started a new online portal, and it completely flopped. It super flopped, and it's completely dead. The investments we thought we would make back in a year and a half are nowhere to be found. I see. That's interesting. That doesn't sound like the kind of flop that you would do. What happened? D do I have to tell you? Hey, I'm having trouble because a business partner of mine is going under. I just wanted to grow my company quickly to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. In other words, you threw your logic into the wind over some ego. And as a result, nothing great came out of it. And if anything, your ego came out crushed. I think I get it. Yeah, I just wanted her to tell me that she was impressed. She was always a maverick in college, but she just worked hard towards her goals. I'd admired you when you started your company in college. That's why I was able to push this far. Thank you for all your help along the way. I was not good enough yet. I'll try again from zero. You trying to act cool again? You're in the minus, right? You're not even at zero. Yes. I'm a little disappointed that I've fallen this far. <sighs> I was so much more quiet before, but then you showed up and I actually started talking. What are you going to do now? I'll just have to find employment somewhere and return my loans. After I start returning my loans, I can stand up again and crawl my way back up to your ranks. Uh, unfortunate. I was really hoping that a relationship went beyond work. I suppose not. Why don't you try asking for help? I told you, I admire you. I don't want to rely on the person I admire and respect. Then what? I suppose to just let you disappear on me because you admire me? Look, I'm not saying I'm just going to give you my money. I expect return. So, if you're okay with doing what I asked for, then I can lend you your money. I mean, what you ask for. What exactly are you planning on asking? Well, something that I find is worth 200000 While you're returning the funds, you will listen to everything I say. I mean everything. When I say Honda, you bark. Does that mean she's going to take advantage of me? You're going to pay back all $200,000 with your body. Misawa, we can't do this. That kind of treat, I mean punishment, is not worth it. You really can say no if you want. I'm not interested in forcing things on you. And I want to maintain a healthy and feel-good relationship with you. Feel good? I don't care about anything she does, as long as it's not gross or painful. I understand. I'll do what you say. Okay. I'll give you $200,000, so go pay it off. You come straight back and listen to everything I have to say. Already? What is she gonna ask for? I returned all my loans immediately. And then... Hello! Is this the new secretary? I was just assigned to a new job position. Hey, uh. Yes, this is my new secretary, Honda. He's an old classmate from college. Honda, say hello. Oh! I'm the new secretary, Honda. Pleasure! She made me go wherever and do all the secretary work. She would show me all her tricks of the trade, so I was learning a lot along the way. One month later, 
I'm supposed to listen to anything she says and I'm just doing secretarial work? This is all it took? Miss Sawa, this is it? Huh? Oh, I wanted to give you your salary for this month, so let me know your bank info. What? You're gonna pay me too? I have to pay someone who's working, right? No, no, I'm just trying to pay you back the 200k you gave me. But if you spend all your money paying me back, how are you gonna survive day to day? You were saying so much about how you're gonna make me do whatever you told me to, but you're being way too easy on me. What? Should I ask you to do more grunt work or something? Yeah, you really should, to be honest. Uh, how about finding a nice place that will send some people to clean up my house? I'm too busy, so I can't really get around to cleaning the house. I actually am considering hiring a maid. I mean, I could do that for you. Huh? Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I have a lot I owe you, and I want to start repaying you ASAP, so that helps me out. Okay, I guess you can live in my house and help out with chores. However, don't do anything that affects your job as secretary. Understand? What are you doing? Welcome home, madame. You said you wanted to hire a maid, so I dressed the part. You realize that people are going to think that's the kind of thing I'm interested in, right? Please don't answer the door in that outfit. I was working as her secretary and her maid. Nothing happened that I was hoping, I mean meaning about as far as paying back using my body, but I spent my days having fun dedicating myself for her. Three years after my company went under, You've earned your $200,000. You can stop doing what I ask. You were just trying to take care of me from the get-go, weren't you? You watched me working up close and you've learned the ropes. I paid you as well, so I'm sure you have some money saved up now. You can do what you like. It's better than you trying to work somewhere I can't see you. I wanted to see how you grow too, you know? I don't want you to sink where I'm not looking. So you can stop playing secretary now. No! I want to be with you more. I don't even need your salary. Let me work with you. I know I can help you. I want to keep helping you out around the house too. You only ever eat out unless I cook for you. You can't refill your shampoo or open jars. You can't live without me. I, I mean, it sucks, but I want to think about your future. Let me continue, please. I want to be able to be someone who can go toe to toe with you. I will climb the ranks in your company. I want you to say that I was the greatest contribution to your company's success. I did what I could while working at her company to increase her sales. One year later, her company grew even more. Honda, you really don't want to go independent? You really should start your own company. I think someone with your skill really can bring a company in working order within the year. If you really think I'm that skilled, you shouldn't want to let me go, right? I mean, yeah, but... I feel bad keeping you restrained as my subordinate. Do you know why I work so hard? It's because I want you to tell me how good of an employee I am. If you don't compliment me, I can't work hard. <laughs> what are you talking about? I already admit that you're a great employee. That's why I made you CFO. I'm not good enough. I need you to be able to chase me around like a lost puppy. You realize that I already chase you around, right? I've been relying on you for work help and house help for a while now. If you disappeared, I would have a big problem. We've been together for four years now. You think I can live without you? Hey, Honda, please marry me. I promise to make you happy, even though I'm reliant on you for housework. Ah, uh, Miss Sawa, I wanted to tell you. I wasn't sure when I would tell you, but since we aren't actually dating, I didn't want to jump the gun on marriage. I wasn't sure if I should ask you out, and then you went ahead and proposed to me. Really? I've always thought you looked good. I think so anyway. But let me say it to you again. Hikari Sawa, will you marry me? And this is how we got married. I had been chasing around this beautiful woman that I respected for years. I was able to get this far because she reached out to help me up. We help each other out in private and at work, so nothing really changed. However, people are saying that the CEO and CFO are both showing up sleep deprived. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.